So let's take a look at routing in Reaper. Right here I have opened a small session. This is my project template on small projects. It includes a stereo encoder and multi encoders so that I can quickly drop any audio on this channel so that I can quickly import mono, stereo or multi-channel audio on the tracks and can replay them and listen to them over my binaural decoder. So let's go through this. In order to show you how to set up your session and route all the tracks, I will create a new session and go all over these features. To create a track here, you just double click in this area. And you can just import and drag all media that you want to on this track. By default, this will consist of two channels. Let's go into the routing option. We can notice the little turquoise stripe here, which indicates a master send. Master send just means that this audio channel will route its audio to my master, in this case, or to a parent track in a, in a folder group. So I will just deselect this master send because I want to make my own routing. Let's say we want to work in fifth order ambisonics. We will need 36 channels for that. So go into the track channels menu and select 36 channels. This track is now capable of handling up to 36 audio channels in one track. But this track now is sending audio nowhere. So it's just on its own. Let's create another track. And put it to the same settings. Alternatively, we can just duplicate this track by right clicking and duplicating. I will call this binaural decoder. This will be my ambisonics bus. You can think of the ambisonics bus as your master track. Every audio that is ambisonics will be routed on this track. You can process it with a limiter, EQ and so on. Make sure that it isn't clipping at any time. Because from here you want to route your ambisonics to your decoder stages. Right now I will only include my binaural decoder stage. So I want to send my audio from my ambisonics bus to my binaural decoder. Let's open up the routing menu again. In this section we will find the sends. I will choose the binaural decoder because in my preferences I got my send default level to minus infinity. I will bring that up for now. And then I will choose all my 36 audio channels to send to my 36 audio channels of the binaural decoder. This routing button with the yellow stripes now indicates that there's a send going somewhere. And the blue stripe here is indicating that this channel is receiving a signal. We can even go into the menu and look at the receive section to see all the sends that are going to this channel. As our ambisonics bus will only be the summing stage of all ambisonics signals, we will have to create another track. Deselect the master send. You can also do that by alt clicking the routing button. Selecting 36 channels and sending it to the ambisonics bus. I will call this my stereo encoder and I can insert my stereo encoder here. To access the plugins, you can just go to IEM and put your and double click on your stereo encoder. One more thing that you have to keep in mind is the following. When first working with the IEM plugin suite, make sure to right click all of your plugins and check this option, inform plugin when track channel count changes. This means if you change your track channel number to a different amount, the plugin automatically analyzes how many tracks are available and sets the according order. It will always set the highest available order. You have to do that for every plugin, but only once. I will close this window for now. Include my binaural decoder in here. And I now want to show you two more options how to route audio in Reaper. For that, let's create another track. Getting rid of the master send, selecting 36 channels and sending it to the ambisonics bus as well.
if we don't want to do this all the time, you can just duplicate a track, as I mentioned, or create another track, set the track channel numbers accordingly, and then you can just click and drag this routing button until it becomes a little plug to the according channel that you want to send to. Drop it and put the according channels into that. You can route really nicely with this option. But there's one more option. To route one or more tracks to a different location, we can open up the view menu and go to route a matrix, which is also accessible via Alt-R. This will open up the routing matrix. Here you can click in the little squares to connect the source channels with the destination channels. But you can see in the pop-up window here that by default it only connects stereo signals. To get rid of the send, just Alt-click on the square again. So if you have pre-existing sends here, you can just click on them with the left mouse click and just drag them down to extend these sends to other channels as well. These tracks are now all sent to the Ambisonics bus. So when creating your session, make sure that you know which is the highest order you want to deal with. If you want to deal with just first order Ambisonics, you will just only need four channels of audio. But let's say you then want to work with a second order recording and you then want to somehow integrate it in your workflow containing all the spatial information, then you maybe have to set many tracks to second order ambisonics. On the other hand, if you have a higher order ambisonic session format, it is no problem to deal with lower order ambisonics, as they will only use the according channels that they will need within the track. So if you're having a third order ambisonics project dealing with 16 channels of audio each and integrating a four channel first order ambisonics recording in there, then you won't have a problem as the first four channels will just be directly routed through the track. I created some templates that you can work with. To access them, just go to project templates and click the according session. They will look like this and have the correct amount of channels integrated and some basic plugins on them. This is your best starting point to work with a session. To include these project templates into your Reaper, you have to go to Direction here and find out where these lie. You can download them in the link in the description and then just put them there under Library, Application Support, Reaper and Project Templates then you will be able to access them via this menu.